Hello YouTube, my name is Rutger and in this video I'm going to show you two ways to make a riser effect with the free ASK synthesizer in FL Studio. For starters I'm going to click on this plus sign right here with the right mouse button and I'm going to select free X oscillator to double click on the synth to open the synthesizer. And I'm going to insert a note, a sliding note. There are several ways to do it in FL Studio. You can click on the slide knob, it's down here. Uh, but I'm going to do it this way with the uh, stamping tool. Click on this one, slide up, and now I can insert a slide note. So I'm going to click on this one, and it's a slide note right now. It's going to slide to the C1 position. From the C0 to C1, I'm gonna transpose it. Control arrow up key, C2. No, and now it's gonna slide. You can't hear it very well, so I'm gonna take it a little bit higher. Well, it's sliding from C3 to C4. I'd like to um, transpose the highest note a little, so I'm going to select it. But right now, when you insert notes with the stamping tool, they are grouped together. And I can ungroup these notes with the keyboard, Control alt plus G, Alt plus G. And now the notes are ungrouped and I can uh, transpose this one easily. And then now the sliding effect is a little higher. By default, the FreeASK synth uses um, sinus waves, and that isn't really interesting, so I'm gonna change it to a saw shape. This one, or maybe this one, and this one, and this one, and this. And there you have an instant riser effect with the free ask synthesizer it isn't really exciting you can change the uh, maybe the, the uh, yeah fine tuning the oscillators to detune them to make a more saw effect something like this well you can play with the settings with the uh, oscillator shapes etc uh, to make the sound the way you like but this is the most most basic yeah riser effect in FL Studio with the free off screen exercise you can put on maybe some sidechain effects on it I can do it when I put this saw tool on a special channel and give up a sidechain plugin this one is nice kickstart by Nicky Romero a sidechain plug in now it sounds like this well you get the idea um, when you put on a reverb delay etc you can make it even better and automate all these things as well so there's a quick way to make a riser effect in FL Studio with free ask there's another way to make a quick riser effect with free ask in FL Studio as well, and that's with the arpeggiator. I've programmed the same rising effect with the free ask synthesizer, and when I double click on the channel, I can go to this page and to the arpeggiator, and I um, activated the arpeggiator range free. It sounds like this right now. Well, just an arpeggiator uh, with a free step pattern. What you can do is automate the pitching of the arpeggio uh, with this pitch knob right here. And I did so in the playlist editor. Now it sounds like this. Well, you get the idea. And you can automate the timing of the arpeggio as well. So you can play with that, and it may sound like this. Well, it isn't a very long riser just for the tutorial, but I'm gonna play it once again, one more time. With the timing and the gating knob, maybe uh, you can automate these as well. You can make very funny, strange rising effects with the arpeggiator and the free synthesizer. Put on 
reverb on it, put on delays on it, maybe a compressor, whatever you like, make it special and automate your own um, rising effects, riser effects in FL Studio easily. The fun part of doing it with internal plugins is you can tweak them um, all the way you like, you can change the uh, oscillator shapes, you can play with the fine tuning, detuning the oscillators. Do whatever you like and uh, yeah the great thing with fl studio and the internal plugins is you can automate almost everything really easy just click on a knob with the right mouse button create automation clip and this way you can automate the settings you can automate everything almost everything in fl studio one final tip for the rising effects and lots of automation channels you can uh, combine channels maybe the riser channel the note channel and all the automation uh, channels. You can do so in the playlist editor when you click with the right mouse button, you can select group with above track. And when you do so, you can click on this new arrow and when you click on the arrow, um, it um, yeah, folds the channels below. So maybe you have five, six, seven automation channels below the note channel. Well, with this arrow key, you can combine them you don't see them all the time and it yeah helps organizing your tracks and your projects in fl studio so great little trick make rising effects riser effects easily in fl studio with the free ask synthesizer